right quick job today and it's got to be quick because it's the afternoon and it's going to be dark and might be raining in the next couple of hours uh, is doing the oil change uh, engine oil and filter oil filter oil this is a five litre fully synthetic engine oil uh, five litres there. there's another one down below so that's ten litres all together uh, that should be enough for an engine oil change as far as I understand it Okay, in here, I'll show you in a second, is the oil filter. You are gonna need a 32mm socket uh, to get that off, which is pretty big. Uh, not all sets have up to 32 in them, so just be aware of that. So you get the oil filter housing loosened up. Then we can loosen it a little bit, let the oil guggle down out of it, and let it clear a little bit. Loads of rags and newspaper and things, and we're going to take it out. If you can see that there. There we go. So one thing I discovered when I got under the car to start looking at uh, undoing the sump plugs is that it doesn't look like this oil has been drained for a long time, which is contrary to what the service documentation tells me. So the nut is a little rounded off underneath and I'm a bit concerned about getting it open. So what I've actually decided to do is something I've never tried before, which is suck the oil out through the dipstick tube. Uh, it's not the ideal way to do it because I really do like to undo all the drain plugs and really allow a very thorough drain. Sometimes tip a bit of uh, fresh oil through to flush, flush out the little bits out the bottom as well. It's always good. Um, but uh, let's try this method, have a look at this. So this came in the post. Uh, it's not very expensive. It's a small pump powered off the car battery, 12 volts, and essentially that's all it is. The big tube is the drain, the small tube is the one I'm going to shove down the dipstick tube, and uh, essentially that's it. Suck in, squirt out, switch it on, switch it off, wait till we get, uh, it's a pretty slow pump by all counts looking at the flow rates indicated down the docks, but um, yeah, it'll uh, it'll eventually suck everything out in one go. And um, it's actually not a bad method, I suppose, because you can control when you start it and stop it. What I mean by that is, uh, considering there's nearly 10 litres of engine oil to come out of this, if you've got a container that's only, I don't know, five or six litres, you can stop it, <laughs> go and empty it off into some container and then uh, carry on again which you can't really do once you've undone the sump plug so uh, let's go and give it a whirl right this pump is pretty basic you just clip it onto the positive and negative terminals on the battery situate it somewhere close by remove the dipstick the thin end is going to go down that hole suck the oil out the fat end is going to tip it into a container now I'm just going to use an old screen wash container and hopefully it's just going to start to fill this thing up very nicely. Do you ever get the feeling something's either going to be brilliant or absolutely awful? 
I just don't know either way with this at the minute. But um, let's give it a go and see what happens. Could be messy or it could be awesome. Who knows? <laughs> Here goes nothing. Well, there's nothing to lose off this, it's just a piece of tube, nothing can fall in, so... I do feel there's a very good chance the battery might discharge quite a lot considering how slow this is. So uh, obviously you can't start the engine to, uh, to provide any charge. Unless you've got a spare battery, there's a good chance you might need a jump start or something like that. So we'll see. It's drawing five amps apparently. thousand years later. Well we've done it. Finally got about as much out of it as I think is gonna come out. It's the old oil there. And uh, here's the fresh oil. Let's fill her up. Dipstick's back in place. Let's uh, let's finish this job off. Right, is there enough power to start the car after running the battery down? Right, so I really don't know whether it ran the battery down not very much or quite a lot. So, uh, let's see. Oh, everything seems to be... Oh, didn't even touch it. So on the whole, that suction method's not too bad. Probably a better, stronger pump would be a good idea. When I started the process off, I did run the engine for a few minutes just to warm the oil up and that uh, lowers the viscosity a little bit so it would be more runny, so the pump would suck it up a bit easier. Maybe that helped to start with, but then, then as it cooled down, it just became more difficult. One thing for Range Rovers compared to other cars, they're higher off the ground. It's got a maximum lift of 700 millimeters apparently, and looking at it, it's very close on that 700. So it's probably lifting as high as the pump can manage it lifting thicker oil than it's probably used to and it's got to drop it all the way I suppose dropping it down doesn't make any difference all I'm saying is it's a bit of a ship pump if you're going to do it perhaps uh, use a, a stronger more powerful pump there's big uh, pumping systems you can buy for a bit more money and perhaps I should think about that but really I want to drop the oil the proper way I want to undo the, uh, the sump plugs and really drop it out uh, correctly so I can sort that out later and um, it just takes a bit of pressure off now that I've got fresh oil in the engine and a new filter. It'll do for a few more thousand miles uh, and tackle the, the real sump plugs later. <laughs> 